Facebook is betting big on Indian small businesses. It's partnering with a local online lender, Indifi, to pro provide loans of up to $67,000. The loans are available only to those advertising on the platform or its apps. India is a key growth market for Facebook with more than 410 million users. Rebecca Bundan joins us from Mumbai. Rebecca, well, interest rates of up to 20% annually, uh, that's typical in India. So what makes uh, Facebook's offering different from local lenders then? Yes, that's right. If we look at the rates offered by private banks in India, they seem to range in some examples from about just over 15% to up to over 21%. So if Facebook is saying that these loans will be priced at uh, 20, up to 20% per annum, that's uh, relatively competitive. And this could, in fact, boost the online lending sector in India, which is something that's growing at the moment, that's been growing over the past few years. And also it could give a big boost to Facebook, which is really looking at India at a very key market for the company. It does have one, uh, hundreds of millions of users here across its platforms, including, of course, it owns uh, WhatsApp as well. And the way it's planning to, to uh, boost its business here through this latest deal with Indify, that online lending platform, is not by making money off the loans directly, but from advertising. Because those small businesses, that, to qualify for the loans, they would have had to have been on Facebook advertising or one of its uh, group apps for uh, at least 100 180 days. So it's hoping through this deal it can bring more advertisers online, it can bring more small businesses, it can really start to, to grow this market even further. So that's really uh, the key, face, uh, key focus for Facebook. And also if we remember last year, Facebook invested in geo platforms, it invested $5.7 billion and that would actually allow it to, uh, through Facebook owned WhatsApp, to uh, offer its payment services to, uh, to small shops in India online. So that's, uh, this is an interesting continuation of that process. It still seems to be uh, focusing very heavily on India as a, growth mark, as a growth market, despite various challenges it's faced here, including with India's new IT rules. And Rebecca, what sort of impact would partnerships like these have on the broader Indian economy? Well, small businesses are a critical part of the Indian economy. In fact, micro, small and medium-sized enterprises account for 29% of India's GDP. So this is a really a big market and it's a very important employer as well, this sector. So th the, this market, getting access to loans is hugely important, particularly at this point in time. These are the businesses that have been really, really badly affected by the economic impact of the, uh, of the pandemic, which uh, led to that recession last year and these stop start lockdown restrictions which has really hit small businesses very hard because they do often struggle with cash flow and they don't have the same uh, kind of reserves that larger businesses would have so for them to be able to get access to uh, to, to finance is, is hugely important and this offers an alternative uh, often small business owners do say they find it difficult to get access to bank loans perhaps for reasons including credit history finances and so on so if this is an alternative that's uh, certainly very attractive to a lot of businesses they often turn to informal uh, loans which can be hugely expensive. So this seems to be a positive uh, for uh, India's economy uh, if it does actually work out and if businesses do manage to get access to these loans and it does, in fact, help them to grow because the idea is by uh, going online, by using these online platforms, they can, in turn, uh, boost their business as well and they stand to benefit, potentially. All right, thank you so much. Rebecca Bundan in Mumbai.